Hi guys, I am so excited to be finally doing my gift guide this year. It's a little bit later than I normally would do it, but I was so iffy on if I wanted to do it or not. But this is my fourth year in a row. Also, I'm wearing the same shirt as I did the last year, and I'm like, maybe that can be a tradition too. So this is just for fun in case you're looking for any gift ideas or inspiration. Whether you have a holiday coming up that you want to shop for, or you have a birthday coming up or something like that, hopefully this can be helpful. I will have my glasses on for this. Well, so the first category is for anyone and everyone. First up, concert tickets or game tickets. I love, love giving concert tickets. My sister and I do that back and forth constantly. It's always a hit. Um, I've done it to my stepdad, um, our father-in-law. Jordan and I do it back and forth as well. And I think it's just so fun and it gives you something to do afterwards and look forward to and get to experience that with the person too. So I always love that. For anyone, I think sunglasses is always a great idea and specifically prescription sunglasses. If you know someone that wears glasses, I mean, a lot of the time the people that I know that have glasses don't necessarily invest in prescription sunglasses. And I think if you can find out their prescription some way, some sneaky way. Um, I think that's a great option. I've done it for Jared before and he loves them. Actually this year he was like, if you need any ideas, I really love my prescription sunglasses. I've gotten his from Glasses USA before, um, which are, you can find like more designer or name brands on there. And then if you're looking for a more affordable price, I Buy Direct has really, really cute ones. Also a brand that has them is Aquila. I think they have really cute, like they have really nice frames and I've heard great things about them too. So within the eye realm, I think an eye massager is such a good idea. That's something that I personally would love to get something like that is so self carry I've seen the Amazon ones going around lately, but I've also seen at Target, they have the Thera Body brand. They have one as well. Next, if you know anyone that's been into pickleball the past few years, I think a custom pickleball set would be so cool to give. Um, pickleball paddles that are custom or I this brand called Cali. They have like a custom pickleball set, which there's like a bag and then the paddles and stuff. And so I think that would be a great option otherwise on Etsy. Or I think hand painting them. If you can find a way to hand paint like pickleball sets, or add like stickers to them. I think that would be a cute idea. A hatch alarm. I did not believe the hype. I did not care to even try it. Jared bought us one and I've fallen in love with it. I think I love it even more than he does. Um, it's just basically an alarm that you can put on at night and it does this really beautiful like red light and you can set it to a timer and then you can have like music coming through it that is set from the app and or like a bedtime story or it can do like a lot of different things. And I just really like it. It's really nice for going to sleep and kind of calming you down. We use that as our light when we go into like the bedroom at night. It's just definitely like a sleeping luxury that I feel like a lot of people wouldn't want to buy for themselves. I think there's a new one too. I have the older one and I really like it, but I've heard the new one is even better. So how about a foot warmer? Who wouldn't want a foot warmer? My sister works in an office and she mentioned the other day, she's like, I, I, is there is a foot warmer a thing? And I was like, yeah, actually Jared has one at his desk. Someone gave him and he loves it. And so I was like, that's such a good idea for someone who works at a desk all day or just in general, I feel like if you can find one that you can like lounge with, I think that's so fun. I've seen a ton of those on Amazon. Something that I've gifted before to people is a vintage camera and a vintage film camera to be specific. And then also with like a roll of film or something. And I've gotten really good reviews on that. Like people are like, wow, I've never thought to buy myself one. It's just something that I personally love using. I've recently found the brand Bink Made for water bottles and they have the cutest water bottles that have like, they look like little, bottles and then they have a matching set of a straw and then the cap and I love them so much and so I actually have two coming in the mail one for me and then one for my sister and I just think they're the cutest water bottles on the market right now and I do like my Stanley but I think this is going to be a little cuter and going off water bottles a water bottle holder um, or bag I guess from Calpac I actually bought one let me show you again I ordered my sister and I both one and first of all how cute is this but I wanted them for when we go to the gym I don't like taking like a big bag in and having to put it anywhere. And so I just thought it would be really nice to have like a set where you can fit any water bottle. Like my Stanley fits in here, I've, I checked it. And then also like you can put your keys in here and then like lip glosses, wallet, whatever. It fits the perfect amount and they have really, really cute colors as well. So my sister was very excited about that. Also, I love gifting like self-care items like bath salts. I found this one brand called Santa Maria Novella. Um, and I think that they have a beautiful, I think, when it comes in really pretty packaging, it's even more exciting. Something that I also really love that we have are bookshelf games. And I think this is such a good gift idea um, because we have a bookshelf. And so it's so nice to be able to like set them out and you don't have to store them away and take up closet space. By having all of your games shoved into somewhere, I think having like bookshelf games that are cute. I've seen them on Huckberry and then also Anthropology has them. I've, we found some of ours at Home Good. Nice, simple gift for someone who loves wine or is like wine curious or something. I think a nice, 
bottle of wine or just a nice bottle of natural wine specifically i keep seeing this brand called airco i think getting like a wine and then maybe like a wine bag is such a fun idea i love gifting those to people who host us um you can diy a wine bag i love just taking old fabric scraps and making a little wine bag to bring over to someone's house or you can go on etsy a brand called the sack has really cute ones as well stocking stuff or something like that magnesium spray specifically by nuco or you can get them at like um whole foods i think have really great brands of that I have gifted planners for Christmas for years, specifically from Papier. I love their planners. They have really great journals. They also have recipe journals that you can customize all of those options as well with like their name, um, anything you want it to say. And I think that's really special too. Next are pajamas. I love J. Crew pajamas. I also love Skims. Skims has men's now, which I think is really cool. Specifically on my list are Cozy Land pajamas. I have been hearing nothing but amazing things from them and they have really, really, really cute pajamas. I think they have kids pajamas too, which I think is great. I found this Dutch oven from Great Jones Co. And I think it is the cutest Dutch oven I've ever seen. I love a good La Crusade or like, even what's that other brand? Our place has cute ones. I don't know, or that Drew Barrymore brand at Walmart. She has like the best home stuff, but I found this one and I think it's really cute. And so I think a Dutch oven of some sort is a really great gift as well. A nice olive oil. I keep seeing it on every gift guide, but it's so true. I think if you know someone who cooks, there are so many different brands out there, small brands um, that have like really cute packaging too, because I always love it when the gift I'm giving is cute. And Graza, for instance, they sell them at Target now. They were at my Target at least. And I actually bought one myself and honestly before I bought that for myself I would have said that's something I would never buy myself and spend that much money on but I was so curious to test this out so I can give my honest opinion and it's great so another thing personal ornaments I always love giving ornaments and it's just always so fun to watch someone open them and then have them use them every year I've gotten them so my mom's a really really good gift giver she should be making this video but she gives really good ornaments and stuff for Christmas a couple days ago if you're in Michigan you know what Bronner's is probably but Bronner's Christmas Wonderland they have like thousands of ornaments that you can pick from. And so I just, it, it reminded me how fun ornaments can be and how many different options they have. Like you can really niche it down to if someone has like a very specific interest to get them an ornament from or likes a certain brand, like gifting it to my brother or something like a Stussy ornament is a really great idea. Handmade mugs, I'm so obsessed with handmade mugs specifically from Stacy's Ceramics the best, so beautiful. Also on Etsy, there are tons of handmade mugs. So within that, a tea set, I think like a nice ceramic little tea set is so sweet and fun. If you know someone would like appreciate that. Um, like again, my mom has gifted us those before, like an entire set, like a fine china and like a tea set. And we love it. We love that when people come over, it's fun to kind of just pull out and have like a new set of stuff to use. And um, again, it's something I would never think to buy myself is like little tea sets and cups. I also saw a really cute striped, red and white striped one on H&M Home. You can find them on Etsy. You can find vintage ones on eBay. My mom personally found hers that she gifted us from Facebook Marketplace. Like you can find tons everywhere. Sculptural candles, unique ones that are like this from Janie Korn or Santo Studios. I think these are really fun. And as for home stuff, I think like deuce and inducing containers, I think are really fun. Also, and honestly, the Jonathan Adler canisters, I think are also a really great gift, but deuce and inducing has some that are kind of similar and they're really cute. And I think a little bit less expensive. So reusable cocktail napkins, I think, I'm so excited. I'm gifting someone them this year and I'm very, very excited. Look at these ones from Masonette or Hampson Atelier. They are so cute and special. You can also hand embroider some um, or, you know, make them some way. I think you can even like knit or crochet them. I think that would be cute. Another one that's on my list is a Buffy Duvet cover. They have the striped one that I think is really cute. Coffee table books, always a hit. Personally, we love coffee table books. And specifically this year, I love the Sofia Coppola one. But Barnes & Noble has a ton to pick from. Another thing that I think personally, a lot of I know a lot of people that I would appreciate is art specifically from David Trigley, my personal favorite artist to look at online. He just has the best art prints. And so you can go, he has an Etsy shop and you can go find an art print um, and order it. I think gifting that in like a frame or something could be really fun. And I would love it. Le Creuset has really great egg holders and I'm so obsessed with them. They're a really great price. And I think adding those into someone's gift is so fun. Also custom playing cards from Shutterfly. I actually just set an order in yesterday for someone um, in my family and I'm really excited. You know, if someone plays cards, why not have them be custom? I think it's so fun. You could do like a little collage on there or you can just add one picture or there are different sites that you can find like, that you can do like a big photo book of them, but I think any would be great. Or you can make them. I have seen people like hodgepodge pictures onto them and that's a great idea too. Next we have fashion and beauty, which obviously resonates with me the most, so I'm very excited to share. My ideas being Glossier eye paints. I 
think that's a really fun gift idea for anyone who uses makeup. Another idea that I really like the idea of is gifting like a really nice nail polish, um, specifically from like Gucci or Chanel. I actually think they're on sale on Sephora, but um, also if you order them from the designer's website, um, like you order like a Gucci one for $30 as a gift, they package it really nicely. So I always think that's really fun. And I have gifted things like Chanel makeup before and they it kind of comes in that really nice packaging. So I think that's always really cool. I will forever say jewelry is one of my favorite gifts to give and get. And Etsy to me is the place for it. There are some of my favorite Etsy shops for jewelry, but they have the best selection. I'll always put slippers in a gift guide. Obviously Ugg slippers are great. Also Deucin and Deucin has really cute fun slippers, again at a way better price. Breda watches have also been on my radar and I think they just have the most beautiful faces on them and they're very simple and I think would be a great gift. I love gifting vintage, so vintage bags, specifically like vintage designer bags, I think would be a really fun thing if you can find, you can find a lot of different options, um, whatever price point you're at on the real real or eBay, a DIY bow bag or even a DIY big scrunchie that I made in my last, one of my last videos or a DIY charm necklace where you find like just a normal necklace, vintage or from Joann's or something and then you add your own charms on it. Again, you can find vintage charms like, like a little lot of them on eBay. I do also have them at Michael's where you can just go and pick and customize them or at Joann's too or just anywhere that has charms. A light therapy mask. I personally have a loom light therapy mask and I love it. When I have breakouts, I put the blue light thing on and I swear, I swear, I've tested it out before where I don't do that and then where I do that and I, I truly believe that that's what makes them go down. Also Skin Gym has them. Those are like, Loom and Skin Gym have like really good priced ones. Also I've seen them on Amazon. And then obviously like Ulta and Sephora, they have like the name brand more expensive ones. Hear me out on this one. I've been given this before for my sister and I think it's the sweetest idea, but a custom crystal pack. So what I mean, if you go to your like local metaphysical shop, specifically if you're in Michigan, the downtown Rochester one is so good. They have these little packs of crystals and they, you can get them for each person's zodiac sign or whatever. And so like I've, again, Jamie has given me like a Gemini one and I love the idea of that. And I think it's so fun. And I, I know some people might not be into that. And so, you know, be wary, but I do think a lot of the people that I know that even aren't like super into it would appreciate something like that. Otherwise, a little bit more light is something like a Zodiac book on this person's specific Zodiac sign. And again, I've given those before, I've been given them and I love them. And I've just really learned that people like learning about themselves. It's, I think, again, someone who's not even into it likes to like read through and see if they like, you know, resonate with anything in it and just learn things about it or just, you know, be entertained by it at the very least. And also something similar to that as the birth date candle, they kind of have a similar idea to that where they have like something about your zodiac on it and it has the person's specific birth date on it to list some characteristics and stuff and I think it's really fun and a great gift too and they smell really good I love candles these fuzzy winter crocs if you know a croc lover who needs a pair of winter crocs anything from the room shop because look at this look at this and look at this fancy shampoo and conditioner sets I think are actually really underrated and it's something that I would really appreciate I've never gotten but I think it's really fun like specifically the Oribe products, like it's something that I would never ever spend money on like myself. I would just, I don't know, I just wouldn't. I would die to try. I want to try Orbe products so bad, so. Also, obviously I have to put perfume specifically from Dossier, obviously. You guys know how much I love Dossier. And um, also Sniff is a similar brand, like similar price point, but Sniff seems to have these really cool specific niche scents. Um, like they have this one croissant scent or something and I want to try that so bad. So, but I love gifting scents and some of my favorite scents are scents that were gifted to me um, from my mom and things that I would have never picked out myself ever. So if you take a sweater, whether you buy a sweater new or you thrift a sweater and you monogram, hand monogram or hand embroider someone's initials on them, someone's name or like a little picture or something, I think that would be a sweet idea. Fan merch for me, is always a go, specifically from Press Paper Shop, but Etsy has a ton also. I think Press Paper Shop is actually on Etsy too, but um, they have a ton of different people. Again, like Taylor Swift, Harry Styles, SZA, like Noah Khan, like kind of different options so you can pick if someone likes someone or stands them or just like enjoys their music or something and you don't quite know what to gift them. I think that's always a safe option. Sandy Liang socks, specifically the bow ones. Anything Sounder House, like all of these things are so beautiful from there and specifically this romper, I think is such a, I love, I just love their stuff and I wanna talk about them anytime I can because I think they have the cutest pieces. Also, Lisa Says God has a really cute selection of curated accessories from their brands and other brands. Um, and I am wearing a pair of like, bow earrings here if you can see those and these are from Target last year but I've seen a similar pair on Lisa Says Ga actually that's where the shirt is from in case you're wondering and you're looking for a cute Christmas shirt I love this or a custom embroidered beret I love this option so much I think it's so sweet one of my favorite skincare brands Kiwa Studios um, they are actually a local business to Michigan and small owned and 
I freaking love their products. Um, specifically, this face mask from them is my favorite, and I think it would be such such a good gift idea or stocking stuffer or something like that. I again, I think skincare and self care is always a really nice idea. Custom bow tote saying something funny or like personalized or something like that from LL Bean. Lastly, for fashion and beauty, lip treatments. Um, of course, like the road lip treatments, you can get a little custom set of those. The Tarte Maracuja lip whatever those things are you guys i put it in one of my last vlogs but my sister has one and i have been thinking about it every time i do my makeup since because the glisten that it gives your lips is unlike anything else so i think gifting one of those or like a little set to someone is so fun I'm telling you right now i feel like anyone who wears makeup would love that my second to last category is stuff that i would buy for my brother or for my husband first off being legos specifically lego cars if they have a specific car that they like which i know a lot of people in general do um and i think that would be a great gift idea that you can either do together with them or just have them do like my brother i'd give it to him and i think he would love that also just think like the whole nostalgia toy thing is a really great idea too for any gifts i think if you know someone really liked something when they were a kid they would love opening it and also going in with cars i think a car candle like this even if they don't like cars i think it's a really good gift like for any men that i know i feel like they would love this um they have like these vintage porsche ones or vintage land rover and things like that they have them on etsy they have them at this brand um e or i can't think of the name 11 11 also a signet ring you can find on etsy i have gifted this these before get their initial on it if you want um i've even gotten jared one that has like a lion on it or something that just looked cool. Amy Leon Door hats. I love their hats. Also, my husband loves their hats so much. Custom matchbooks from For Your Party um, or on Etsy. You can get like a nice little customized matchbook and I think that that's always a fun idea. Also again, robes from Deucin and Deucin or Skim. As for like little book gifts, I think the Rick Rubin book is a really good option. Also, Drake has a book out and both my brother and my husband love things like that. Another gift that I gifted I think every man that I know in my life is an off-white card holder wallet and I have actually gifted Jared them like I think three different ones already um, because like he has loved them so much and I think it's because of the specific like layout that it has. It's not like a bifold or anything but it fits in your pocket still and it fits everything that you need and again I've gifted my brother them, he loves it, my brother-in-law, everyone. The last category is for the pet owners. Of course I had to compile all of my recent pet finds findings. So if you know someone who has a pet, I think these would be great options. And I think they're highly severely underrated because people who have pets almost always are obsessed with their pets. First up being a pet portrait. Again, I think I've gifted them to every single person that I know in my life. Um, I have them of all of our animals. I love pet portraits and I think they are so fun. Um, I have this one seller on Etsy and he's an artist and he like really takes the time to perfect them. And he's really kind and like messages you and makes sure they're good. And he also ships really quickly. Um, so I've gifted those before and you can get them in a ton of different like selections of outfits and things like that and everyone that I give them to is like so obsessed with them and again it's something that a lot of people either don't know about or also just wouldn't buy themselves and so love that more of a pricey product definitely a luxury item but the stout pet bags they're custom I can't express how special these pieces are because they're hand painted um, the artist there does an amazing amazing job I have one of both Rex and Felix and I they're my favorite bags to wear and they're they hold up so nicely i've worn mine in the rain nothing happens to like the painting on them or anything and they are just in general stout has great products and bags so i love my pet portrait ones also like a custom pet ring or necklace um again with like their initial on it or even they have like one i have actually a felix can you see that? It's Felix engraved onto a necklace like this. And it's one of my favorite necklaces ever. And I think it's so cute. And then you can get it like personalized in the back. And it just says like my bestie Felix. And that is by the brand here. Also air tags and air tag holders. We recently just bought my stepdad one for their puppy and he kind of loved it. He didn't even know it was a thing. So I think that's fun. Any wild one products. I am a wild one fanatic. That's like all we use constantly for collars, leashes, harnesses, but they have this one walk kit bag. And I think it would be such a good gift for any dog parent out there that takes their dogs on walks and they want to have treats in there and can hold their like wallet and keys and things like that. And they come in really cute colors too. And they're so nice. I have like actually a couple different colors. Jared has one too. Domson Matter has really cute dog bandanas or pet bandanas in general. And I think that would be a really sweet idea for like 
the actual pet. Like if you want to buy your pet or someone else's pet, like a little Christmas gift, I think that's a cute idea. We have this cherry pet, like cat scratcher. I think that would be such a good idea for like, again, anyone who owns a cat, but also if you're gonna, if you want to gift someone's cat them. Another brand I love for cat stuff is Oh Catnip and they have this cute little collar and I think it's so fun. It's kind of so unnecessary, but I do have it for whenever I want to like, <laughs> take pictures so with my cat like portraits or something like for our Christmas card I put it on Dottie um and she looked so fucking cute and I just think they have the cutest products they also have like this uh blanket that I have for them specifically like a cat blanket also a custom like band tee with all of like your pet's faces on them I gifted Jared one of Felix and Rex a couple of years ago and he wears it constantly he loves it and I think it's just such a fun idea I don't know who would not like that lastly Yeti water bowls if you want to buy your dogs something really nice this year or if someone else has dogs and you don't know what to get them I think a nice custom set of Yeti water bowls because first of all they keep the water nice and cold you can get their names personalized with them also on them we have um, a set for Rex and Felix and everyone always like loves them whenever they see them so I think it would be a really good gift idea too but those are all of my actual gift ideas and then the, other than that I personally I take so much pride and have so much fun with wrapping during this season and I think that that it doesn't matter what you give someone it doesn't matter what's underneath the present wrapping or wrap it in a really fun way I think that speaks for itself but other than that here's just some like wrap inspo for you um in case you are also like me and like to wrap things. The thing about custom wrapping paper, if you just find like a nice basic, like, you know, cardstock paper um, that's like white or tan or whatever, and then you like paint on it or you draw on it or something like that, it could be really fun as well. That's all I have for today. That is my gift guide. Let me know if you have any gifts that you really like giving down below. I would really love to know that. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow because we're in the middle of Vlogmas. So I'll see you then. Bye.